We are drawing a castle today using some simple lines and shapes that we know. And so here's an example of a castle that's in the clouds with a rainbow. And we can follow the same steps to make a castle that looks like it's spooky or haunted. So the difference is, of course, the background and the details and the colors that you use to finish it up. So we're actually going to start um, in the middle here of our paper with this rectangle where the door and the window are going to go. So you're going to leave, you know, maybe like a few finger space from the bottom of your paper. And you're going to draw a square or a rectangle shape. Okay, and then inside that, we're going to make a curving door. And then above that, a square or rectangular window, whatever you have space for. All right, and I like to make some bars through that because castles are old and they often had bars to protect their windows and doors and openings. So horizontal and vertical lines, straight. All right, then on either side of this rectangle, we're gonna make a tower. We're just going up and over a little bit, back down, connecting it in. So it's a rectangle on each side. So we're gonna to try to make this symmetrical. Same thing on both sides of the center point. Okay, on the top of that, we're going to draw a triangular roof. So I'm gonna come out a little bit on each side and then up and back down. Okay, and the towers are going to have windows going down in a row. Rectangles are squares. And the towers are also going to have curved lines or wavy lines for a fancy rooftop. And this middle section is going to have a battlement wall. So across, down, across, up, across, down, across, up, across, down, across, up. If you're having trouble with that, you can just make it um, just triangles. Okay. Then on each side of this, we're going to do another rectangle or square. That is low. It's about the same height as that other middle one that we made. And then on each side of that, a taller tower. So a short rectangle and then a tall rectangle on each side. Okay, and these are going to have zigzag tops and then a triangle Okay. Um, the 
these can also have windows going down. And these smaller parts can have the battlement wall. Now this middle part between these two shorter towers, we're going to connect that together with a pointed roof. And we're going to double it up. And then inside there, I'm going to make a triangle window. And below that, another big window. Okay, now I'm going to connect out my middle triangle to my other tall towers. And that is going to have a battlement wall. And if you have trouble with that, again, you can just make it curved or pointed instead. And then I also have room for two more castle roofs. And double those up. Okay, I like to add flags on the top of my towers. Even this middle one can have one. And then you can draw your details the way you want. If you want ground, you can make just a straight line across um, the two sides. If you want a cloud, you make some curves around it. And you can, of course, add lots of um, windows and doors wherever you think that they would look nice. So good luck finishing yours up.